my friends, I'm back just in time for this New Year's Eve party makeup tutorial. We're gonna start out by priming our eyelids just to make sure that our eyeshadow stays put all night long. This is the NARS Pro Smudge Primer. Here I'm taking the color Ma from the Lorac Pro Palette with the big blending brush from MAC and just start blending from the inner corner to the outer corner. Just sloppily just apply it up and a little bit over the crease. This will make sure to be our perfect transition color and a nice base for this metallic Stila foil over eyeshadow in the color lavender. And then with my ring finger, I'm gonna start dabbing from the middle to the inner to the outer corner of my eye. And then just dabbing it all over up until my crease. I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow to get the color payoff that I want, which is pretty sparkly. As you can tell, there's a lot of fallout, so keep in mind to do your foundation and concealer after you finish your eye makeup. I'm back in with the same color moth and then just blend out the crease with the sparkly eyeshadow and the matte color so there wouldn't be any harsh lines. And then with any eyeliner, I'm going with the Stila Stay All Day Liner in Intense Black. I'm just going to line my top lash line as close as possible. I'm not going to do anything crazy like winging it out. This is just going to be a very good color for when I put my false eyelashes on. And then with the same off color like before and any pencil brush, I'm just going to take it down to the lower lash line and smoke it out just a tiny bit. And then with any mascara, this is the Voluminous L'Oreal Full Definition. Just apply it to my top lashes so my lashes wouldn't be crazy looking when I apply my falsies on. These are the Wispies by Ardell and the Duo Glue. Just apply for like 30 seconds and wait till it dries out a bit because it's much easier to apply since it's a little tacky. And then I'm just using my fingers and trying to apply as close as possible to my lash line so they wouldn't look, you know, too false. And then trying to bind them. And these lashes are very, very pretty and long. And then after the eyelashes are dry, just apply the same eyeliner on top of the lash line so you can't really tell where, the, where your lashes start and end. And then this is a gel liner from L'Oreal The Infallible with any liner brush. I'm just going to apply it to the lower lash line, as you can tell, really, really close, and then trying to go all the way into the inner corner. This just gives the look a very sexy and sultry, especially it's perfect for the night. And then here I'm just trying to wing it out a bit. And then with the same pencil brush, I'm just going to try to smoke it out a bit on, more on the bottom lash line so it wouldn't be any harsh lines. Oh my god, look at that beautiful eyeshadow. Oh, I love it. And then go with any mascara. I'm just going with the same one. I'm just going to apply it to the, my real and false eyelashes. And then to finish off, I'm just going to apply some to the bottom. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going with the color cream and white from the Lorac Pro Palette. And then this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde. And I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas in my brows. I already applied my foundation, so here I'm just concealing. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla to highlight my face in the places that I want highlighted. And then I'm gonna blend out the concealer with a Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki Brush. This brush is perfect because it gets in all the crevices, especially in the inner corner, and I can blend it out without ruining any of my makeup. And it's gonna turn out perfectly blended. And then with the Damn Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend out the rest of my concealer. I applied some to my chin, to the top of my lip, my nose, and my forehead. And then to set my concealer, this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Loose. And then just, you know, setting it with the same Damn Beauty Blender. What do you think? <laughs> and then I'm gonna contour my face with the Benefit Hula Bronzer with this is NARS Eda brush and then just blend it out. I chose a soft pink blush because I don't want to overdo my face. I want all the focus to be on my eye. And to make sure there are no harsh lines on my face from my blush and my bronzer, I'm just gonna blend out my face with this large stippling brush from MAC. I chose the color red for my lips. You can go with whatever color you want. I just want to go full on out for this party look. And to finish off my look, I'm just gonna put in some diamond studs 
and be off for the night. I hope this look will give you some inspiration for this coming up New Year's. Let me know what you think. Have a safe and happy new year. I'll see you guys next year.